Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's have a look at the uh, the US indices. I'm gonna be sh having a look at the Dow Jones and all those, all those in the markets. Now, what I do expect to see uh, from this market is a, is, is a continuation on the downside, but it's not over just yet. And I'll share with you what I mean here. On the short term, I see a little bit more of a downward movement. Now, why do I say that? Well, right now we have sellers in control, right? Sellers are in control. If you go to my main YouTube channel, you'll be able to see in the playlist under the trading education, you know, the number one pattern that happens in, in most stock market crashes. Anyway, the what we're looking at here is look what we look look what happened here right this is this is a very nice clear head and shoulder formation okay now if i squeeze this up here look what we have here on on this one here we have this what we had this sort of right head here look at that little lower high through this notice how that that's sort of like a leaning head and shoulder we have two types of head and shoulders that can be really powerful in the markets firstly a head and shoulder formation like that where we have the same, where the left shoulder is the same as the right shoulder. That's nice, but it's pretty powerful when you get a right shoulder, a head, and then we get a left shoulder. And what is what am I doing there? The left shoulder is actually is actually lower than sorry, the right shoulder is is lower than the left shoulder. And so that's what we're seeing through there right now in the um, in the U.S. indices, right? So I do see a continuation on the downside. But it may not be over just yet. Meaning, what I mean by that is that the the long term picture. If I bring up this long term picture here on on the on the Dow Jones, what do we have here? Right, we have what? We have a very nice strong movement up through here, and now we're just getting a nice pullback. So this band through here, this whole band through here, that's a fifty to sixty. That's a fifty to sixty two percent retracement. If the market does not, if the market, or well, the market's probably probably likely to get down to there, but if the market does not hold here and we continue down to like a double bottom, then oh my goodness, that is now probably the start of a lot more downside to come. We're probably going to start to see this sort of action over the next next say 12 months to two years, and the bear market recession and so on and so forth is likely to start happening. Uh, probably towards the end of this year, if we start to see that in the markets, right? Because this is then so this will be then a topping pattern. We've had a lower low. The market comes down, it, especially if we create another lower low. The, it, it's all over from there. So it'd be really interesting to see. Do we actually hold through here? Let me leave a comment in the chat box below. Let me know what you think about that, because it's really interesting to see what's going on through there. Same for the S and P five hundred, right? But look at the S and P five hundred. The S and P five hundred. That's why I'm saying we're not out of the woodwork yet. Meaning, like it's not the start of a bear market and so on and so forth. We're getting a small pullback, but the weekly charts are king here. Look at that very. Look at the psychology here, right? The psychology is what. If we forget what you think, if we're looking at this here, we're very strong move up, and now we've got this move down. If you look at these last two legs of the markets and the weekly chart, this is weekly chart. Remember, who's stronger? The bias, right? So yes, even though we may get a bit more downward movement, it's expected to get to get this pullback. A lot of people are saying that this is the start of a crash. It's not. It's it's just because because if if the market in the the market the market goes through or the market the market must be balanced when it comes to price and time. Price is a directional directional move, and time is a pullback, right? So because we've done so much movement on the upside, this is just a nice healthy pullback, and so. Don't start to think that this is an overall bear market. And remember, a bear market is a bear market or a recession, stock market crash, whatever you want to call it. It takes 12 months, for two years for that for that thing to start and complete, remember? So, um, so and because we made a new higher high here, uh, it's it's de it's def we're definitely not in a bear market through here, right? So people that have been saying that we're in a bear market, there's no way we're in a bear market right now. We just made a higher high through here, and we've got a very strong movement up, and we've had only had a small pullback through here. So all in all, guys, I do see a little bit more movement here, but we but this could this could this could just be a nice pullback to balance that price and time, and then we could be getting ready for another move to the high side. I'm not saying that's going to happen. But if, like on the S&P, if we can't hold this 50 to 62% level, 
on that overall picture, then that could be the start of a nice move to come, which is likely to take 12 months to two years to completely unfold, not one or two months. So please don't think we're gonna see a stock market crash and, we're got, and you've gotta get in right now because it's just not likely to happen. Please protect your money and don't think you're gonna get rich on one trade because that's just not that's not, that's not the way the stock market works, okay? Hey traders, thanks for watching my YouTube video. You know that there's a lot of areas in the trading arena, right? To, for you to become a good trader, right? There's the trading systems, there's the chart reading strategies, there's the foundations, the mindset, and there's so many areas, right, you need to really understand in order for you to become a good trader. So that's what I've created the Master Trader Lab. I put everything in there for you to become a really, really good trader, and I'm giving you a free trial. So if you go to mastertraderlab.com and you can grab a free trial to this and start learning the chart reading strategies, the trading systems, the mindset, so much more in there and start to learn the skills to become what I call a master trader. So go to mastertraderlab.com.